everybody yes this is this is the gray zone with mamai you are all welcome i am so so excited to have you and today is going to be amazing uh, before we get right into it I'm just going to encourage you to invite as many friends as you can. Invite as many friends as you can. If your kids are still awake, um, let them dive in. It's going to be so much fun. Like I promised at the end of last year, that I was going to bring you creative kids that I um, that I come across um, that are doing great things in their communities we need sorry about my boys my son won't get there um, so yeah I I am going to be bringing you as many creative kids as I can get my hands on and um, I'm going to also encourage as many of you to go ahead and invite friends, um, tell creative kids about this show, let them show what, what they have gotten, um, um, yeah so uh w like i said this week this week we are bringing you a kidpreneur and beekeeper that is only 10 years old so i hope each one of us will be inspired and we to the habit of inviting other kids let them showcase what they have at the end of the day this is going to be a platform for them let um, them inspire each other because that's the best way to learn um yes just one minute you can go ahead and help me share the video um okay so right now we're diving into neil's interview um, so tell us about yourself and how you started My out name is beekeeping. Neil. Um, I'm 10 years old and in fifth grade. And I started this business four years ago when my dad bought me my first ever beehive. What is the day like in your life well, as a beekeeper? There's no actual, there's no actual daily routine as a beekeeper. Mm. And you do not feed the bees that much. About two times, you extract the honey from the beehives. You extract the honey in late spring and in late summer. What are the advantages of beekeeping? Is that you get lots of fresh organic honey. Another advantage is that it like it helps all your fruit if you have fruit or veg, not vegetables, but if you have bushes, raspberry bushes, um, blueberry bushes, it helps those a lot and produces more of those awesome. by pollinating. Have you ever been stung before? So I've gotten stung before. <laughs> well, everyone in my family has gotten stung. So, but the only reason why we've gotten stung is because Either we get too close to a bee or, some, or something's wrong with our suit, so we get too close and mm -hmm. we're a little bit too, um, not, aggr not aggressive, but we're a little bit, we went a little bit too close and mm -hmm. got, we got stuck mm -hmm. to a bee. Mm -hmm. How many hives and types of bees mm -hmm. do you have? These are my bee hives. We have one type of bee, which is a honeybee, which is the only type of bee that gives actual honey. Mm -hmm. The other bees in Massachusetts are the carpenter bee and the bumblebee. Mm -hmm. 
So they and they don't give and they don't give honey. Mm-hmm. We have two types of actual honeybees. We have if will I get stung? No, you will not. For one reason is because it's winter, mm-hmm. so they won't come out or mm-hmm. anything. Mm-hmm. And so if you want, we can get like really close. So I can come right here and not get stung. Mm-hmm. You shouldn't be coming this close to the beehive. Mm-hmm. How has your community benefited from your beekeeping? So it helps um, for a lot of stuff. One is that the bees, they can go over two miles. So they'll go to our neighbor's flowers and pollinate them too. Then another one is that we're giving fresh honey. Mm-hmm. So, so a lot of honey, mm-hmm. it's not pure and it's not like it's, it's heated because our honey, mm-hmm. it's not heated or anything. We just let it flow for four hours. Mm-hmm. What advice would you give kids that want to become beekeepers? So or start I would their start with business? if you wanted to buy a beehive, you would first start with one beehive. Don't go like six beehives or something like that. Mm-hmm. Just start small, mm-hmm. and then you can start if you, if you if you want it to be a business, mm-hmm. you can start small and start selling it into neighbor by neighbor, like what I did. What should your customers be mindful of? They should be mindful Mind. about how healthy the honey is. Mm-hmm. So, honey is like how I told you how. Mm-hmm it's heated mm-hmm. and when it's heated it it loses all those nutri- nutrients and those things mm-hmm. and but but what we do we just leave it for six hours eight hours mm-hmm. and like just let it see mm-hmm. so but when they so when they heat it it lets it flow through tubes and mm-hmm. there's and it has the exact same taste exact everything mm-hmm. except that it's 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 not unhealthy, but it's not healthy for you anymore. Okay. What's your opinion on commercial honey production? So commercial honey, that is one of the things that they really don't put that much effort for their honey. They heat it up and, and when, they, when they do that, it loses all those nutrients inside the honey. And the reason why they do this is because they cannot wait four hours for one tube of honey. Um, we can easily wait for, we can even wait for 24 hours and nothing would bad would happen. So I extract the honey from here and instead of using those electronic stuff, we just do it in manpower, we go like this like really fast. Mm-hmm. and. At, if so, when someone buys it from either Etsy or wa- from the Waltham Business Fair or so, anything like that from Facebook, I personally, so I get the bottles that we buy, then, then we put it in the box and pack it well, and we ship it over there. The seasons that they get honey from, it's, it's never winter because it's way too cold and they don't hibernate, but they do like huddle up so they can keep warm and everything will go well. But most of the time that doesn't really happen a lot and a lot, a lot of the bees die in winter. How do you, you do prevent is your just, bees from um, dying? Just not take as much, like a, all the honey, like during, during late summer, do not take all the honey. Does be do bees make honey? So as well the seasons as well? that they make honey is in spring and su- summer, and a little bit at fall. So we normally take some honey from s- spring and take a lot of the honey from winter. So we, and we leave just enough for them to have enough honey from fall, and and so they can have enough for them to live during the winter. So this is one jar of honey. This is a 12 ounce bottle and this is for $12.99. As you can see, this white down here, this is pollen. 
and this pollen it's very good for your health and when it comes in it's like best it's the best honey that really you can get this is the bottle as you can see we we've done everything we've done we've had the nutrition facts and everything and you do the packaging yourself yeah i do the packaging and but we do not make these bottles by ourselves Awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much, Neil. And we are really grateful. Yes. So like you all see, it was a good interview with Neil. He told us about, um, he told us about his, he, uh, his bee production, uh, honey production and beekeeping. So I hope you are all, um, are all excited and um, learning about beekeeping and um, it doesn't matter what you have in plan um, trying out something you never know um, what could where your where your strength could be until you try it so Neil started um, his beekeeping four years ago and that means when he was six and he's 10 now and he's um, selling honey and coming up with all these different products um, with his honey and it's it's so exciting and inspiring so what do you have guys as a kid what are you doing besides um, school and playing what other thing are you doing that could impact your community and that could impact your family and you too so i have um something else in store for you like i said this is going to be a kids show kids inspiring kids um with time i want kids to be the ones to produce the show i am just learning all this stuff so i'm not that great but i know you guys more exposed and um, better at technology than all of us so I got something else in store for you at the end of this show besides just Neil and beekeeping hi sweetie um, I need you to be able to learn something else and um, we have Nicole doing the cooking section a segment and so guys, go ahead and enjoy this too. Before you start cooking, always remember to wash your hands. Hi everybody, my name is Nicole and I'm gonna be doing the cooking segment of Gray Zone today. Shout out to Neil for the honey we're gonna be using in this video. And shout out to Mushi Mushi for the apron. The first ingredient we have is olive oil. So let's put this in. Okay. Our next thing is seasoning. And minced garlic. Is Neil's honey. Use half a cup. All done. Now mix it up. Make sure to stir it well. Now that we're done with our mixture, let's put it on our salmon. Make sure to get everything on the salmon. Don't forget about your second one. <laughs> Use all of your sauce so that it tastes 
really, really good. Now it's time to pour the rest. While I was preparing this, my oven was preheating at 400 degrees Fahrenheit. Now that we're done, it's time to add our garnish. So I have some chopped up Okay. Cover up your salmon and wait for your oven to preheat and then pop it in and wait until 10 to 15 minutes or until it's thoroughly wet, ready to take Now that our salmon is done cooking, you can plate it. And I'm going to eat mine with rice. Thank you for watching. Before you start cooking, always remember to wash your hands. Hi everybody. My yes guys, so I will end it with that. I hope you enjoyed um, whatever we had in store for you. Um, the cooking was done with Neil's honey. So I want to show you guys that um, this goes a long way. You create one little product or come up with one little thing and it can go a whole long way. I tried the salmon. Oh my goodness, it was awesome. So please go ahead and share pictures or videos of what, um, of what comes out uh, if you try out the recipe. Would love to see how you did yours and if it came out better than ours. Um, but that's, uh, that's what Nicole came up with. And thank you so much, Nicole. Thank you so much, Neil, for the awesome honey. And I just can't thank all of you enough. Please go ahead and share this video and invite more kids to come onto the show. We are so ready to scout for as many talented kids as possible. It doesn't matter where they are. We will get to them somehow. So just go ahead share the video, comment, tell us what you think, share what, um, and we'll try it out. So every show is going to be a different kid, different idea, entrepreneurship, um, it, it can be in music, it can be in art, anything you think about or everything you think about, we're going to bring it to you. Thank you so, so much, and please go ahead and share, share, share. Thank you.